All right, so Patok and the green team going to be running uh, a Montana, St. Vincent, Des Moines, Goliath, Napoli, Moscow, Shimakazi, Grozovoy, Yu Yang. What have you got? So the red team is bringing Montana, Kremlin, Des Moines, Napoli, Moscow, Nevsky, Petropavlovsk, Shimakazi, and Ragnar. All right, so two things. One, Grozovoy. Two, Yu Yang. Yes. Right, let's go check. This is the most important question of the game. Is this going to be a radar or a smokescreen Yu Yang? And it is. It's full man mode. We have a full man mode radar Yu Yang. Let's go. This man. I approve. I, yes. I approve uh, this. Right, let's, this hang on. <laughs> let's check. How fucking man mode is he? No leg mod, unfortunate. He's running RPF, though, you know. Uh, torpedo build, mostly. Yeah, he's full torpedo build. But, you know, we can respect. I respect the hustle running radar Yu Yang, I must say. I like being able to see builds. It's quite fun. It's cool. Okay, so initial deployments. Over at the air capital, we'll be sending this radar Yu Yang and all of his manliness glory, along with a Montana and a Goliath. The Moscow must have got the worst spawn you could possibly think of because he's got to go the long way over to sea cap. Uh, he's going to be joined by Napoli, St. Vincent, and then there's Grozovoy, Des Moines, and the Shimakaz is going to take the really bold, brave route between B and C. What have you got for your deployments for the red team? So the red team is sending uh, straight away a Ragnar to B on its own, Shimakazi, Des Moines, Kremlin to A, uh, Montana. Nevsky, Moskva, Napoli to see. And the Petro, uh, now that it's navigated, it's also atrocious spawn. It looks like it's now heading towards A. Mm. I'm just going to have a quick look through some random builds while everyone's in a position. See if I can see anything particularly spicy. We have Des Moines, heavy AP. We have Shimakazi with no survivability expert. What is wrong with you, sir? Sir, where is your survivability expert? No, no. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, it makes me unreasonably angry. But, but adrenaline rush, though. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, oh, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> we have leg mod Montana. Well, no. <laughs> uh, we, we have a rudder mod Nevsky. And a, a range mod rudder mod Nevsky. I, look, I'm going to close this now because it's going to make me unreasonably angry. <laughs> Wait, we, have some, we have some action going on in the B cap. The Ragnar has been caught by the Des Moines radar. Um, yes. Uh, he's... Uh, so I hate, I hate to make you unreasonably angry, but do you want to turn your uh, build mod back on and go look at the red gear? Uh, wow. The red Des Moines. Uh, red Des Moines. Please tell me he's not a range mod Des Moines. He's a range mod Des Moines and he's also running Turk Traverse mod. Let's just not look at it. Nope. <laughs> No, I'm done. We're done. <laughs> Fuck everything about that mod. Uh, I don't want to know anymore. Red Ragnar drift. So Des Moines, uh, the green Des Moines at B has radared. The red Ragnar was about to take the cap and left despite there was no shots coming in. I would say that's a, a lack of um, experience showing, maybe? Yeah, it's just a bit of a mistake. There's, there's no need to bail from the cap if nothing's got shots on you and you're a second away from taking it. Yeah, but you don't... Mm, okay, if he's a second away from taking it, then sure, yeah. But uh, yeah. But there's, it's, there's not, nothing... it's, yeah, like if, if you were very close to taking a cap and you can actively see there's nothing coming for you, you may as well just hold on to it and then speed boost out. Even then, I'd go for the juke. Like, oh, I'm radar. Yeah. All right, maneuver. It doesn't matter what way yeah, you maneuver, exactly. you reverse back into the cap. Like, not going to expect that one, you know what I mean? Yeah, are, so that, that's, that's a little mistake, I think. Uh, and we'll see if that costs them anything. But that's, a, you know, the green Des Moines is a B and has nothing to do now. <laughs> I mean, he can go cap. He can, and if the petrol uh, A backs up and well spotters, then it, you know it's farm, it's food. But I don't think it's going to do that. Uh, we see radar coming out over the air cap. Des Moines gets slapped. Actually, uh, must have took a Montana salvo there. Yeah, a little chunk. Uh, yeah, Des Moines has its radar up and is obviously finding nothing. Yep, Yu Yang. Yu Yang hasn't been spotted this game yet. Yeah, you think something spotted? It's put a set, of, uh, put two sets of torps past the petrol Kremlin before it hits, and it's now got torps strolling towards the Des Moines. Surely that Des Moines is not going to go out and get hit. I mean, the Des Moines doesn't have Hydra running. Uh, he's he's running into that. That he's catching that one. Two of them. No. Sir, please, no. Okay, one, one. Ooh, okay, that's still a lot more than he wanted to take. And now he knows that is a flood. And there's a Montana waiting. The Yu Yang turns back in. He knows that the mines is pushed out. Hydro comes on. No, don't. Okay, it's a TRB. It's a TRB Yu Yang, but he's already used the TRB. So he's... Yeah, that, that was the torpedo wheel of this, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, Moscow, my... the Red Moscow has is losing a lot of health over at sea. It's my favorite uh, just thing, by the way. Farming. 
It's my favorite thing in the world is like you see you see somebody like eat a torpedo and it's like, oh shit, torpedoes, hydro. It's like, so, they've all gone past you now, mate. Are we about <laughs> to see the Kremlin uh eat a Montana broadside? Uh where? Uh, the same place the Moscow Ah. <laughs> Yes, we did. And Not he as lost, bad as it could like, have yeah. been, and actually won the trade between the Montana and the Kremlin. Uh, the Kremlin wins that one slightly. Uh, Gro- Grozovoy on Ragnar action. Uh, in the middle of the B-cap. Uh, Grozovoy using AP in the belt of the Rag. But the Ragnar's turned out now. Okay, he's dropping Rag's a smoke. Out. He's dropped the smoke, but the Des Moines is rocked out. Uh, I, I would say that's an appropriate use of the smoke screen because the Des Moines is going to push the Ragnar out of its radar range, right? He's still spotted. Why is Again, it? Now he is. the Kremlin. Is it? Was the Kremlin doing the spotting now? No, it was uh, Ragnar Radar still. Uh, it, it didn't look like he was in range, but yeah, maybe. That's what <laughs> the big green circles are for. Uh, did you get that 3D radar mod? That's fine. No. Uh, yeah, it's obvious. The, problem, the problem with the colors on a on this like big colored circles in the overlay for me would be... Uh, yeah. Colorblindness. <laughs> have you considered not being colorblind? <laughs> uh, I have once. Uh, Napoli eats a torp or... Where's the Napoli, sorry? Uh, up at the sea cap. Yeah, that was the the, the slowest torp eating ah. I've ever seen as it travelled halfway down the side of the Napoli before touching it. It's a Napoli eats a torp. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah, I said it uh, as it was. Uh, it had three uh, lovely Doritos on top of the Napoli's name, and I zoomed all the way in, and they were all just touching the paint. <laughs> all right, so let's take a quick assessment of the situation. A cap firmly in the red team's control, B cap firmly in the green team's control, C cap firmly in the red in the green team's control. We do have a Kremlin in positions to do things. I'm not sure what the plan with this Kremlin is, but he definitely exists. The Shimikazia A has picked a fight with Radar Yu Yang, has discovered it's a Radar Yu Yang, uh, and has and probably the smoke and left. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That is uh, my favorite thing about Radar Yu Yang, is nobody expects it. There's also a dead Napoli. <laughs> Yes, I, I can't say I'm surprised with the position the Napoli was cut in. I don't uh, know where that was. Was this like... So it was up in the 10 line of D10. Uh, it had turned, it bounced off the border and had turned all the ah, way back in. And it was yeah. broadside to St. Vincent. Yeah, this, this, yeah. yeah. Mm. So the problem with being flat broadside to a ship is it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Napoli's quite tough. Yeah, it's until not, you go full broadside, yeah. It's not, uh, it's not like uh, 18 inch proof. On the side no. <laughs> that range. Turns out 18 inches will penetrate a lot. All right, anyway. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have Des Moines pushing into more Yu Yang torpedoes. I don't know if they're going to do anything. Actually, no, the Des Moines is going the safe way. He's yeah, going Des Moines is going the in, screen. in the inside. But Shibakazi is looking for the uh, Yu Yang again. What's this Kremlin doing? Uh. That Kremlin is looking for Des Moines food. Or Grozovoy food. He might food. find Grozovoy first. Well, it's spotted. Uh, and if you... <laughs> that Des Moines, the green Des Moines, uh, is going to have a moment now. Oh, yeah. Making you great again <laughs> over there is going to suffer. <laughs> Leaving. <laughs> Luckily, yeah, the green Des Moines had reversed up enough that it has room to just leave. Uh, Sven Beach. That... Yeah. And the Green Des Moines got behind the island, avoiding what could have been a very painful uh, moment. So uh, if the right... Oh, Radar Yu Yang hasn't needed yeah. his radar this time round. Uh, goodbye, Shimakazi. Gets good, you know, good health trade so far with the Yu Yang, with the Des Moines behind, but Yu Yang is now just going to run. Kematops towards the Goliath. Actually, looks like they might do some damage here. Uh, one, two? Two. Okay, he's alive then. He's going to get the saturation yeah. on the stern. He's going to heal out through that. Yu Yang, on the other hand, might get suffering on the way at home from the Des Moines. Uh, so that's no. the last shot the Des Moines going to fire uh, in the air now. Which does nothing. Uh, okay. Does nothing. There's a perma fire, but uh, 12 seconds of damage control, so Yu Yang probably just lives. Oh, the fire goes out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's things happening over here still. There's a Nevsky that like is apparently bow in for reasons unbeknown to anybody who is currently being slapped about by a Napoli and a Shimakazi and a Des Moines and a Moscow and it's why, why are you bow tanking in, in a Nevsky? Is that the rudder mod range mod Nevsky? The uh, range mod rudder mod Nevsky who is currently bow tanking. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, so I, I, I can understand rudder and range mod if you're like the kiting 
god off the flank you know no 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 you bow in you bow in and open water because <laughs> because if you if you are like the sole ship on a flank and you've just been told don't die sure you might you might take that build but bow t- mm. annoyingly he's very he's still he's sitting here tanking this and i'm just like how <laughs> importantly uh the grosovoy is, t- is touching b cap the ragnar has a radar ready and there is a kremlin that can see the grosovoy if it gets radar all right, let's watch this. Uh, there's also Des Moines that's decided to broadside to the Kremlin is fine. Yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, so let's, let's see how fine this is, exactly. Um, obviously, Kremlin yes. with that poor long-range dispersion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the Des Moines was correct. <laughs> Rocking out, what? Te- Please tell me that wasn't 10 kilometers away. I heard okay. about that. Yeah, 11 kilometers. Rocking out 11 kilometers broadside to a Kremlin, you're fine. He's now broadside the Nevsky instead. Actually, he's now broadside the Montana. So Montana Salvo, I got Montana Salvo gonna have a go. Montana misses. Uh, yeah, Kremlin's having another go. Great, yeah, the Des Moines has uh, asked for help. And <laughs> help! I've overextended. <laughs> I require assistance. Please give us the smoke. I don't. I, so I. I don't know what the the play was there. I don't know why you would leave the safety of the island to go broadside to a Kremlin. I don't know. He wants to go on an adventure. He had an adventure. He's the decided Nevsky, I need more uh, gallon rush. Is got a heal ready? Yeah, there it is. Uh, say, a five thousand health Nevsky with a heal ready and not using it is bold. Oh uh, uh, yeah, but he's, he's this is the range mod, uh, rudder mod Nevsky we're talking about. So like for the Saint Vincent. Uh, Wait, what? Where's this? The Nevsky is rushing the Saint Vincent. Where? Was what? Rushing the Saint Vincent at sea. Oh, it's not really much of a rush. <laughs> the torps are out. <laughs> that, that, that's not a rush. <laughs> It, like, as far as Nevskis go, that counts. Uh, look, as far as R- Rudder Mod Nevskis go, <laughs> <laughs> well, he really, uh, he really made the most of his range mod. Oh, he's got to fucking catch these tops, isn't he? <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> but now we get to see the true, the 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 true moment of the tournament. The Montana versus Vincent. Yes, but the Saint Vincent's bowing to a stern in Montana. Brawl. And gets to use its squiggly tarps. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it's not, it's not a stern one, that. Not yet. Not yet. He's, he's got one more. Yeah, uh, he has to use the, the one more. Meanwhile, the uh, Grosovoy took B cap back, and then the Ragnar and Kremlin are immediately trying to flip it back again. Hmm. He's, got, he's got the turn off. He might get this other wiggly top off. Be free, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Le bonk. The true moment of the tournament is going to be when, when we see a St. Vincent torpedo destroyer to death. Okay. That was a drive by, and both. There we go. St. Vincent get, He flooded yeah, to death. St. Vincent he, has he, that like, he, he random flooded. mid turret that's just sort of there. He flooded uh, him yeah. to death. <laughs> Why? Okay, uh, back to the. He's getting killed by the Grozovoy. Grozovoy is. Yeah. What have we, what have we learned, Jurak? Like, let's not look at builds anymore. <laughs> uh, Ragnar is driving into the Grozovoy, which has a Moskva in support. Yeah. However, there's a Kremlin in support of the Ragnar, so it swings around right at this point. Y- yeah, but not really for the Ragnar, uh, which loses the gunfight to the Grozovoy. And... and the game ends. Yes. Uh, imagine if I was, like, paying attention to the score or anything. Uh, congratulations to uh, Patuk, Patuk, Patuk. Tuck will be going on to the next round. Uh, Edda will be knocked down into tomorrow's uh, losers bracket. Where for there, where we'll be competing for their tournament lives. Yeah. Okay. Evaluate. Tell me what happened in that game, Jura. Explain everything to me. Uh, we seen a range mod Demoin. We saw a range mod fucking rudder mod Nevsky. We saw no survivability expert Shimakazi. We saw things, Jura. We saw things. I'm going to have PTSD from that. <laughs> I mean, that was a very strong showing from Patuck. Uh, not a single ship lost. And, uh, and it's sort of like they played that game of cap control again, uh, where you just sort of, yeah, you, you're contesting the caps. They took control, but they gave it away a few times. But they, every, every time they, they let cap control go, they always got a positive health trade. And that's, yeah, it's worth it if you know, if you know how to make advantage of that.
There, there appear to be like people complaining about my camera work. Fuck you! It's my camera. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? They, you want? They, should, should, we get, should we get the camera team in? Should, right, guys. Yeah, I was about to say they clearly team. haven't experienced Lester cam. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> It would it would help me if like you, you ex like when you were calling out a ship if you just like tell me like generally where it is because I'm fucking blind. Just give me like C cap red ship and I'll be able to fill follow it much easier. Um, right, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm I'm fucking putting on the winner scene because I'm dented. Uh, who won? <laughs>